uh, intellectual property industry. So um, um, I have the, you know, prepared some, uh, you, know, you know, printer file. It says I'm trying to open up. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Can you see the, uh, my previous file, Olga? Yes, I can. Very good. It's great. All right. Okay. So, um, uh, frankly, first of all, um, uh, my impression to Solbridge is uh, really, really great. So, um, I didn't know that a uh, you know, university called the Solbridge uh, you know, existed in Korea because uh, I know that uh, in the many, most of Korean you know, university they are very local and then not you know, international. But Solbridge is kind of the very you know, national you know, type of the you know, business school. In the sense, um, uh, I'm really happy to have a good chance to tell you about you know, uh, understanding inter property for innovation capital asset. So um, next slide. Uh, we're gonna uh, introduce about me a little bit, but uh, I'll tell you a little bit more. And then uh, frankly, I'm a uh, uh, kind of the, you know, uh, expert uh, in uh, Korea in terms of the patent technology and you know, monetization commercialization. I've been working for this industry for over 30 years. And then uh, uh, so far in Korea, I'm the guy who put, you know, uh, and produce some uh, results in terms of amount of the money, 70 million in IP transaction cross border deal. And then um, most deal is uh, in a cross border between uh, Korean big conglomerate and the US company. And then uh, Korean uh, top notch of the uh, university and the US and then uh, China. You know. So I'm fond of the GTL and then uh, later part, I will tell you about more about the uh, GTL, and then I'm happy to have some of you as an intern. Also, I found it in a company called Icent Tech, which is kind of the smart sensor research and commercial and development platform. This will be the uh, defector standard in the end in Korea in terms of the uh, gathering uh, sensor technology from uh, you know a startup, venture company, university, research institute, as well. Also, I had a great experience in uh, you know. Uh, being uh, executive, executive vice president, Clear Play International, uh, which is located in uh, London, UK. Also, I helped the uh, couple of the US company to be list, listed in Nasdaq market uh, 10 to 15 years ago. Then, uh, most of my life is uh, you know, kind of the uh, technology management, business development, marketing, and then uh, financial management, sort of things. So. Uh, yeah, this is my brief background in, you know, intro, and then next slide. I believe that uh, all of you here uh, already understand the uh, what is inter property. In inter property, we have the uh, total different uh, five type of the uh, you know, asset. Like uh, first of all, copyright, trademark, trade secret, right of publicity, and finally patent. Among these, everything is very important. This is uh, total five elements to protect the uh, business. The copyright, uh, especially copyright, um, copyright is you know, very, very important. If you create some uh, you know, you know, you know, books, novels, or lyrics, song, paintings, photograph, anything you created can be protected by copyright. Every country have the, uh, some you know, uh, uh, law uh, protect the uh, individual's copyright in the sense um, if you protect your copyright, and then you should, you could contact the, uh, your uh, agent in in, uh, in your countries. Trademark the same. Everybody have some uh, name, and then a trademark should be protected by uh, you know law legal. Um, the value of the Coca Cola pretty high. Samsung, and then uh, you know Apple, Google, Facebook, they are in the trademark value very high. Trade secret you know, most importantly. Trade secret located in the you know, individual's you know, you know, brain. Some some case uh, trade secret located hiding in some uh, you know uh, companies uh, you know uh, website no uh, some uh, some uh, some some depository place. Also patent, yeah, and then finally in the right of publicity, your photo also can be the uh, you know. Kind of the inter property, you have a right to review, to publish it, why not? This is kind of the inter property. Um, 
as you might see, we are living in the uh, knowledge economy, knowledge society, in the sense, knowledge power, share share, knowledge is kind of the capital asset. Uh, in today's leadership, it comes from uh, knowledge. Knowledge converted into uh, some uh, legal right to protect you, you know, you know any right through intellectual property. The 21st century have been called center of knowledge or the center of the mind, which means that in your mindset, you should have exact uh, understanding of intellectual property, innovation, and then this kind of the things can be exactly connect with the current uh, and industry, and then especially in the money. In the sense, um, a later part, I will tell you how this works in terms of the you know, monetization. Finally, uh, the understanding of law of inter property right is very, very important in your life in the end, I bet. If you understand more about the, uh, the law of inter property, associated with the business and industry, then you will have a good chance to have the more good uh, in position, I bet. Uh, during my uh, presentation, if you have any question, please let me know. Uh, the law of IP asset management, as you might see here, in the knowledge-based economy, companies and enterprise include small and medium-sized enterprise, increasingly based upon uh, ability to pr provide high value added product at a competitive price. That means that um, these days, big company like a Samsung and a small size company, XX company can fight each other. Through what? Internet property. If Samsung does not have internet property, but the small size company got internet property, they win because they protect by law. That's why the law of import IP is very, very important. As of today, um, the product can be produced through you know, some, uh, you know, uh, auto factories, uh, 3D printing, uh, small size factory, medium size factory, but every product should be uh, revised by uh, uh, inter-property law, whether they violate some uh, trade secret, patent, copyright, trademark. Otherwise, um, the product is sold to the market will be uh, affected by uh, some, uh, you know, owner of uh, internet property. That's why this you know, uh, IP law is very, very important for industry and business. I'm continuing the, uh, no, 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 the law of the IP asset management. Um, to become and remain competitive, SME need to you know, coherent business strategy to constantly improve their efficiency through um, some, uh, uh, you know, creation of their inter property and then by activity for reducing their cost and then um, you know uh, differentiate their product for other competitors this is sort of the IP management in the sense um, they need to uh, understand the uh, inter property very deeply but uh, reality as of today in Korea uh, they are very few who understand the uh, inter property the importance of inter property very, very few in the sense, you know, most of the uh, small size, you know, business owner is not so successful in the end. But if somebody who understand yeah, the importance of uh, inter property, they are trying to contact uh, some expert like me or other pattern law firm, then they got some uh, advice. And then through that kind of the uh, activities, they are uh, having good chance to grow step by step. Um, this is the same story, but I want to, uh, you know, emphasize the, uh, you know, inter property and protection. Uh, inter property is exactly um, business. It's the highly, highly connected with the business itself. Without, without product, without service in the market, there's no, no meaning for inter property because inter property can protect the, uh, uh, companies' business 
for especially product and service. Every company trying to um, develop their proprietary product or service, but they try, they are trying to differentiate their product through what? Through internet property. That's why they file patent, they file copyright, they, they file their trademark, and then they want to you know, protect it by a law. So, uh, so far, uh, I'm telling you about yeah, the law of the IP asset management and then the importance of the IP. So um, if we got some question, please let me know later. Uh, in this printed file, um, some individual in the company got some ID or an executive ID and they are trying to search whether they, their idea can turn into uh, technology or IP or not. Once they found, uh, once they realize that their idea can be turning into technology or IP, and they are trying to spend more money in terms of the research and development. And finally, they got a product and service. Through, through this uh, stage, um, the idea the, should be protected by NDA, confidentially you know, non disclosure agreement. Idea that can be, you know, um, uh, can be, you know, trade secret. That means that trade secret shouldn't be distributed publicly. Once, once any idea or article writing the publicity through online website newspaper, article, whatever, then this, uh, this, this couldn't be trade secret anymore. We, we call this you know, um, a defensive purpose publication. This defensive publication uh, can kill the pattern. For, for example, if you, if you got a great idea and if you're telling the people publicly, and then later on you file the pattern, then your pattern can be canceled. So um, this is very, this is the fact that you should uh, you know, understand real life. Then um, second of all, um, research. When company try to research, these days they are trying to open innovation through you know, some uh, collaboration between university, research institute, other corporation. In the sense, they, by the time they need to agree some kind of the agreement between parties in terms of the sharing uh, the portion of the uh, you know, inter-property right. Also the third of all, um, technology should be protected, definitely pattern. Otherwise the technology is no value, no meaning. Finally, the product and service level. When you try to launch your product or service to the market, you should go through the step called um, uh, invention clear process. Then you said freedom to operation. Where, where you, you, you do not have any risk when you launch product service, you should go through legal process. Whether your product or service is violate any trademark, any inter-property for other people. Otherwise, even though you, your product or service is selling very well, that your company will be very risky because the owner of the IP, IP will you know, uh, contact you because you know, they believe that they, uh, you uh, violate their patent asset. Then there might be a big dispute and then you are going to lose in the end in the court. Um, from this um, chart, I want to give you the, the big shot regarding uh, you know, innovation source and uh, innovation users. Uh, from my you know, uh, past 30 year experience, there are three steps, IP creation, IP protection, IP monetization. This process is highly, highly complicated. So uh, today uh, I will uh, you know, explain in detail, but later on, if I have some chance, then uh, I will have them, you know, uh, more you know, detailed explanation you know, 
of course. Uh, first of all, uh, innovation source um, is kind of the small medium sized enterprise, research institute, university, and startup. They are in you know, a little poor. They are not in a big business man. They are a little poor man, but they got great, you know, brain, knowledge, idea, and they can, they can, you know, uh, to some some of the research. If they find, if they believe that their idea is a really great uh, asset for, you know, a pattern or other you know, assets, and they are trying to do more research, and then they finally find pattern. Um, as of today, uh, in Korea, um, the total uh, pattern number uh, filed every year is around the uh, 202,000 or 250,000 annually. And then among them, 90% you know, occupied by innovation source, the rest of 10% you know, is innovation user. That's why uh, the, the right side, you can see innovation users um, the innovation users most likely big company, medium-sized company, financial investor, and MPE. Uh, I'm not sure whether you guys understand the uh, the term called MPE or not. The MPE stands for non-practicing entity, which means that somebody doesn't have you know, uh, real business operation, but they own patent as your you know uh, legal company, and then they they can file. Some lawsuit with you know uh, some uh, company who violate their IP. Uh, we normally called MP as a patent troll. So through this process, market you know, you know expanding dramatically. Uh, you can see some uh, some slide next. Um, in this chart. Um, I've been I've been I've been selling purchasing pattern over 15 years. I'm I'm very early early you know you know, you know doing a, to a pattern trade industry. The pattern traded um, from uh, uh, 2008 2007 and eight. So from the time period, pattern you know, you know trying pattern asset can be traded between corporation, between parties, like a university, research institute, and the big, small size company, medium size, big company. And then as time passed by, pattern industry growing so fast. And then the next chart, you will see, you know, there are lots of the different type of IP you know, company. Uh, in this chart, uh, I'm trying to give you the, uh, you know, some snapshot regarding the pattern value in terms of the price for US market. Uh, a grade, more than a million per pattern. Another B grade, somewhere between 500,000 to 1 million. And the C grade, somewhere between 100,000 to no, 500,000. D, less than 100,000. And then E, you know, very small money, like 10,000, 30,000. F, no value. Uh, in this chart, the A grade is a kind of the pattern which is a very essential uh, standard grade. Some pattern, 10 million. Some pattern, 50 million, 100 million. Depending on the, uh, you know, uh, the size of the uh, market. And then the percentage, well, the possibility of infringement from uh, other you know, company. That's why we, we call this A grade in kind of the essential or standard pattern. And then the, the below grade, B grade, these are still good, good pattern. With this pattern, you can you can you know litigate with the uh, you know, company to violate this pattern. From she, so so, so um I've been I've been experienced in the selling from A to you know E. So um this is a very funny and very interesting industry. That's right. Pattern transfer process. Um, when I contact, you know, uh, some uh, you know, you know, pattern owner from a research institute, university, or some individuals, and small side company startup, and then we we can quickly review. Uh, minimum 
couple of hours, maximum four days, uh, including myself and my partner uh, in the US, a couple of guys. We, are, we have a deep knowledge in understanding a pattern in uh, uh, industry like uh, IT, high tech. Then uh, we do understand yeah, whether this pattern can be valuable or not. So um, once we understand that this, pat this pattern is you know, valuable, and then uh, we are you know, uh, engaged in the uh, pattern owner, and then uh, we are start the process, and then um, we package, we make some uh, kind of the uh, document, we, we contact seller, buyer, uh, seller, uh, buyer, and then uh, buyer like it, then uh, they are trying to you know, check it out more about the pattern, say share due diligence, and then uh, they are trying to uh, you know, give us their summer price, negotiation, final deal done. So uh, this will take most likely, you know, uh, around the uh, six to nine months, sometime in one year. So far, I have experience in uh, dealing more than 100 cases over 15 you know, years. So um, the amount of money I, I uh, you know, you know um, uh, generated, uh, I'll profit, I'll profit uh, close to uh, uh, 15 million among, uh, you know, 70,000, 70, you know, US dollars. This works uh, handled by very, very limited people like me. So um, there are very few people who can deal with pattern. This is kind of the uh, IP industry. As I told earlier, there are many different types of you know, company who are working for this IP industry. Um, most likely, First of all, technology development company, they are trying to develop technology with IP. They do not want to, they don't want to launch their product or service to the market. They only focus on developing, creating IP and technology. And then through that asset, they are trying to either sell or license or litigate, that kind of things. And then another, another people here, you know, private investment firm, People trying to invest in their, you know, uh, pattern, and then they are trying to respect the uh, some, uh, you know, uh, you know, a profit by you know, investing in some good pattern. And the litigation fund, somebody got in a couple of the great pattern, and the Apple buy rate, then they are trying to, you know, you know, invest in. And then the, the attorney group attack, litigate with the Apple, and they trying to, you know. Uh, negotiate with a few, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know money, like uh, you know, hundred million, two hundred million, five hundred million. It's a huge industry. Pattern licensing. So there are many different type of the uh, you know pattern company like uh, two dimension, like uh, offensive pattern strategy, a uh, defensive pattern strategy. Here, you know, RPX, RPX. I was involving in IPX from the uh, you know, you know, foundation. I would help in IPX to get membership license from both Samsung and LG Electronics. Within uh, the two months, I gave them a good success you know, result within two months. Samsung pay 5 million every month. LG pay 4 million every month. IPX trying to purchase pattern from the industry, which is you know, highly you know, riskable who are you know, in the dispute pattern, they grab a pattern and then they protect, they, they give a license to you know, their member, like a Samsung, LG, Apple, Google. RPX, as of today, listed in the stock market exchange. They are listed in a, you know, a couple of years ago, like um, four years ago, they grew so fast that they got funding, two different funding stage. First funding, 100 million, second funding, 200 million. The value as of today close to one billion. Like this, internet capital here. Um, you know, digital design pattern troll, pattern uh, in a research institute with this pattern, they are filed in a lawsuit with a big company. So I know in most of them, like this, there are you know many companies listed in the stock market exchange in, uh, in NASDAQ. Also, um, this one is more like, uh, you know, how can you say, um, this is more like a uh, developer or seller 
this time more like a little gator. So, uh, Johnny, uh, Mr. Kim, I had the quick question. Is that okay? okay. So, uh, one of the biggest uh, producers, or I should say, filers of patents, is IBM. IBM, I think, right, right. I think Samsung is second. Uh, yeah, right, right. So this yeah. this chart is fascinating, and it shows the different strategies around uh, patent monetization. Mm -hmm. But where do you put these companies who have the patents? Uh, these are, uh, I guess, I, IP companies per se. But what about the actual companies producing some of these patents? Where would you put this in the strategy matrix? Um, frankly. Uh, from this chart, uh, we are only focusing on the you know uh, company who are directly generating the money from the IP asset. So, for Samsung, example, IBM and Samsung, they don't have any units that do any of that, or would they kind of outsource? Um, okay, tell you. Okay, Samsung, they, they don't want to you know produce you know some money. They want to from the patent. Yeah, yeah they, they want to generate they, products. Yeah. They only they only generate product, and then sometimes they are uh, trying to do the cross writing, you know, to reduce the cost of the uh, payment. Yes, IBM is totally different. IBM they are focusing on uh, research and institute research, and then they produce great great you know essential you know pattern IP. And then they don't want to be you know you know, you know uh, included in this industry. They only contact big company like a uh, Samsung, and then other big top 10, top 15 company, they are doing some cross threads between them. Right. And then the rest of the pattern, they don't mind. They don't care anything about, you know, uh, you know litigation violation. In the sense, IBM is very quiet. Yes. They, yes. they, don't, they don't belong to this industry. They well, are more this, like- This I know, chart is uh, purely patent monetization. Exactly. Company. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Just a, Deep on the viewpoint, all right. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, you know, but you know, Samsung very strong, IBM very strong in terms of the uh, IP you know, creation. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Conclusion. So uh, very simple. Internal property is very very important in business. If you understand more about internal property also maybe innovation, then uh, you guys will have more good chance to, you know, join good company or, you know, you know, also, you know, founding good company. Anyway, my point is that finally, uh, inter property fairly, fairly important to the, uh, in, in your life. So in this sense, um, I hope you guys try to you know, learn more about the yeah, property. Also, <clears throat> get to understand the core meaning of innovation management. Also, innovation management is very, very important. So um, these two things are highly, highly connected. Innovation management, inter-property management, maybe synchronized, maybe 70% or 80% the same, but the rest of the 20%, 30%, some different meaning. Uh, innovation management is much wider than inter-property management. Innovation management can manage people's mindset, you know, you know, you know, thinking, and that their habit, their you know, you know, pro the internal process sort of thing. But inter-property directly focus on the you know, asset for the uh, corporation. So anyway, this is an almost, this is the you know, final, you know, uh, PPT for my presentation. Next slide. Uh, can I briefly introduce my company GTL? Are you okay? Yeah, of course. So as I mentioned in my introduction, um, Johnny was uh, for 16 years at Samsung in various capacities, but he also has been uh, for many years the founder and CEO uh, since then of GTL, which is one of these intellectual property uh, related monetization companies, but also has a lot of other broader areas in technology development. Exactly. Yes, that would be wonderful. I think the students will be very interested. Yeah, just a couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah. I like to this. And then, um, yeah, GTL. Uh, who is GTL? Um, GTL stands for Global Tech Link. 
I, when I was, was working with Samsung, I realized the, the importance of IPN technology. That's why I decided to leave Samsung. Then I finally founded a company called GTL. So um, we are we are expert in terms of the managing, drilling, for pattern technology, for monetization purpose. We are also good at in the managing uh, the finance, associated with the uh, pattern technology asset. So far, as I mentioned earlier a couple of times, I had a great experience in dealing with the mad pattern from big corporations, small corporation, university, research institute. The, the total accumulation is 70 million. Then I've handled Dell, Samsung, LG, Dongbu, many, many in the company. We GTL is the leader of the intercraft asset and finance business. So I I've been I've been studying, I've been working, studying for this industry for like more than 20 years. So um, I invest a lot of money for you know, this industry. And then uh, I'm trying to you know, uh, gather good information, analyze it, pilot, planning, and there's some you know, infrastructure process. I have the many, many asset in, in company. We want to be a true, true leader in the uh, internet asset and finance and business industry. Then we are trying to be really fair. And then we are trying to you know, share the profit together with the people who are involved. And then we are going to uh, you know, select here yeah, only good uh, IP and technology. We can be, can be you know, you know, uh, spread out to the global world. Our goal is to be the, uh, you know, Internal property asset financial platform. So um, I'm totally focusing on the uh, these five assets, five factors: content, high tech, devices, infrastructure, and platform. This is uh, you know horizontally and vertically. This is a CD platform. So um, in this uh, you know five you know, factors, most uh, idea or technology. Or, you know, Interproperty can be uh, sorted out, and then uh, we could, you know, effectively manage this an asset. Our strategy is that we are trying to forecast the you know, you know, future technology. You know, five years, ten years, by you know, you know, forecasting the future technology, we are trying to we are you know we are doing some research. In the free free idea you know filing pattern. Who is the you know, publicating you know, articles? You know, we are trying to you know, find out the figures. Who is key that for this industry? Kind of things. We are monitoring, analyzing market trend. We are also investing uh, some, uh, you know, some money into the university, research institute, individual you know, inventors. Also, we are forming some uh, you know, world class team for you know, startup or project. So we also invest in some money into uh, some teams. This is our strategy. That is pretty much normal, but nobody will follow this kind of you know, you know, basic process. But we are going to keep this our principal strategy. I think that I believe GTL is a complete platform of internet asset you know, incubation. So um, uh, I've, been, I've been spending uh, around the you know, you know, 10 million up to now, uh, you know, to develop some platform like the uh, GTA Online to Opera platform, IP Tech Link. I've been building this in you know, the platform over 10 years, but you know, so far I I haven't launched it yet. But you know, not this year, next year is the perfect you know, year for me to launch this platform. This is a kind of just concept. We do have some uh, many different modules, like uh, idea and you know, access module, IP service module. And then, and then uh, you know, source of the uh, you know invention, then many many different things. So this is just a you know, snapshot. So like this, I'm developing our platform with some IT technology. Also, I'm going to apply artificial intelligence you know, as well. Finally, this is almost like end of my presentation. Um, at the moment, um, I'm trying to. Um, launch some uh, global, you know, intercapital asset platform. Together with my partner, Mr. Ludo, 
in um, Belgium. He he been working for this industry for thirty years. I been working for this industry for thirty years. We are you know quite top notch with the in expert in understanding of inter property, inter capital asset. You know. We are going to uh, create some kind of the you know, standard. Fin finally, we are going to apply our our idea or standard into. Uh, I you know, international financial financial regulation standard as well. So our philosophy is very simple, straightforward. We are trying to pursue the peace, the great culture for global, and finally we are going to contribute to the, uh, the global education as well. So um, uh, I've been working for this um, this you know you know foundation. We are not you no. Know, I just reserve the right to you know open up this global platform in Switzerland or you know, some uh, other you know, three you know, the neutral countries. But this year we are going to uh, file legally and then um, we are going to launch uh, this platform by you know, end of the, this year. Through this platform, we could uh, spread out our you know, concept to the uh, global industry in terms of the intercapital asset mindset, innovation, and then um, innovation rating. There are three type of the uh, you know uh, company, three company in in, in credit rating, Moody, Speech, and then which one? I thought the next, next one. We are also going to create some kind of the uh, very similar to those of the uh, credit rating company, Shady uh, innovation ratings. If we launch innovation rating with this innovation rating assessment tools. Um, financial industry investor bank, and then um, they can gauge each individual people's startup, small size company, middle size company, big corporation, whether they are you know uh, good, uh, well, and or in a, in a bad in terms of you know, inter, inter capital asset management. This will be. Uh, effect into the you know, um, some interest rate when they borrow the money from the bank, they should somebody who got a great you know innovation rating great and they will borrow the money with a very low low interest rate. But somebody a little bad, then they should pay more interest. Like a, the the logic is exactly the same with the credit rating, but. We are in a way, way in a, in a one, one down in the over than the credit rating. This is a more like a complicated process. We are going to co collaborate with the, one of the credit rating company, maybe Moody's or you know, standard pitches, mm -hmm. whatever. So anyway, finally, I'll, I'm pretty welcome for all, somebody who are interested in uh, being intern for this ICASO organization. Please let me know through the organ. Finally, our company would like to connect innovation for better life for everybody in this you know, small world. And then uh, let's go together. This is my final you know, endings. Thank you. Got any question? Let me know. Thank you very much, uh, Johnny. Yeah. So um, as you suggested, uh, people should connect with you through me. Is that OK? That's right, exactly. OK. Great. Ogun is my, my good friend of mine, frankly. And then Ogun understands the uh, you know, uh, innovation very deeply. And then uh, that's why we, we are you know, talking some uh, innovation management to capital asset from time to time. Sure. Ogun also involved in uh, ICASO ownership as well. Yeah, so ICASO is very fascinating because um, we've been talking this whole class about innovation. And one of the unsolved problems is in innovation is innovation measurement. Good. And, uh, Very important. And so ICASO as an innovation rating to create mm -hmm. the standard by the basis of the rating is uh, aiming to do this uh, very still as yet unsolved issue. Yep. Uh, and Mr. Ludo that uh, Johnny mentioned his partner who I've also met. Mm -hmm has developed a system for analyzing and measuring innovation. So that's very exciting indeed. 
Uh, anybody uh, have any questions for uh, Johnny Kim? I want to try it. No question meaning understand everything. <laughs> Doesn't understand nothing. So anyway, so I'll, um, I'll stop the recording. Maybe uh, people are.